Hey guys, Will here, and recently I picked up a 2017 27-inch 5K iMac. It is pretty much base, however, I did upgrade the RAM from 8GB to 32GB, and already it's become my favourite editing machine I've ever owned. There's one thing that I haven't done on this computer yet though, and that's to edit some crispy red 8K raw footage. So in this video, we're going to be doing exactly that. If you're new here and that doesn't tickle your fancy, please subscribe anyway though, as we have got some really cool content coming soon. For the tests, we're not only going to be using Final Cut Pro 10, which if you didn't know is my main editing software, but we're also going to be using the newest version of Adobe Premiere Pro CC. This way we'll be able to get a much wider range of results and draw a much more conclusive answer. Same rules as usual, the machine must be able to modify, cut, grade and export all the red raw footage to pass. Let's get into it. So first of all I opened up Final Cut and began to load in all of my 8K footage that I got from Red's website. Now usually I create proxies to optimize the media but if you do that then you can't actually modify your settings so I left that blank. Next I modified the settings, trying to make them match, and loaded them into the timeline. Cutting was absolutely seamless with them Final Cut, and was super easy to do on the iMac with pretty much no lag. After this there was color grading, and this was also very easy and didn't seem to be taxing the machine any more than usual at all. When we got to export, my timeline was just over 50 seconds, and I think this is where the footage started to have a bit more of an impact on my machine, as this did take 2 minutes and 32 seconds, but still, that is a new record for exporting this 8K timeline, so the results from the final cut Cut test are hugely positive. So now that we've done the final cut testing we're going to move on to the Premiere Pro testing and after that I think we need to fix this. So stay around till the end if that's something you want to see. When it comes to Premiere, it's a similar story. Importing, modifying settings, cutting and grading are all really smooth and as Premiere hasn't always been this good in the past, this is really refreshing. When rendering, it did take its time compared to Final Cut Pro, the final time coming in at 16 minutes and 52 seconds. Same project, a little slower, but still absolutely incredible. Okay, so that was simply incredible. I kind of already thought that this was going to happen, but this has just reinforced what I already thought about the iMac, and so hopefully this will make for a really good content creation device. Thank you guys for watching, remember to like the video, if you want to see more content like this then please subscribe. I'm done for now, and I'll see you guys in the next one. I'm definitely going to be needing this. Right, so I've got an old t-shirt on. I've got the comb. Maybe the dye. Let's do this. Okay, so here it is. Here is the finished product. I think it turned out pretty good. You ain't really the ice on the zip zip boy. You could do it to a mate, zip zip nada. Zero competition, so they piss piss. I get on the stage and it's rip rip. They say I wanna do it like you do, boss. You radiate something like you've been too old. The glimmer in the night, you the hope that we owe. I shit, but of course it's the love that put me on. Early in the morning.